So if you're looking for a simple streamlined solution to dependent dropdowns, then I believe this is the solution for you. It allows you to use a single cell for all the levels and you can simply search for the item that you want, whether you search for, in this case, a primary category, a subcategory, or the item itself. And when you select it, it drops all of those into the cell. So this will allow you to do as many categories or levels as you need to and has a very simple setup. Alright, so we can quickly and easily set this up on the back end. So here we have three columns and we have our parent or top level and then our second level category and then our final or item. And then finally, our setup is right here. And so let's go ahead and just build this from scratch real quick, just to show you how this works. So we're just going to do equals to start our formula, and then we can click on our parent or our first category here. And then I'm going to do an ampersand symbol, a double quote, a space. And then I'm just going to start with this pipe symbol, another space, another double quote, another ampersand. And then I'm just going to continue on with B2, ampersand, double quote, space, pipe, space, double quote, ampersand, C2, and enter. And at this point, we can accept the autofill, let it fill down. And so you could continue this for as many levels as you have, if you have four or five or six, and then you would just continue this like we did here. Now another option is you could use some different separators as well. And so I'm just going to show you a couple of these real quick. So we could use, for example, this double arrow for the first part and then a single arrow for the second part. And that just looks a little different. So if you like that style, you can do that. Another option here is maybe this dot. And so you can search for HTML symbols or something like that and get these if you like. Um, otherwise, maybe just a simple dash, you could do that just on the keyboard there. And so whichever one floats your boat and the look of that you like the most, you can go ahead and do that. And then finally, let me show you how to actually add this drop down. So let's go ahead and first delete this real quick. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove rule and then that just removed the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit trash can on the rest of that. And then let's go ahead and select this. So I'm just going to click on a hold down control and then click on A1, just so now it's selecting everything but A1, and then right click, go to drop down, drop down from a range, I'm gonna click on this select data range, click in here, and then go to settings, and then I'm gonna click on D, and then I'm just gonna add a two here, and then hit okay. And then down over here, you have an option, let's go back to setting selections real quick, so you can see that. And so right now the default is chips. And so if you like the chips, you can go ahead and leave it. Or if you like a cleaner, a little bit more subtle look, you can go with the arrows there, which is my personal preference at the moment. And then once that is done, you're good to go with your dependent dropdowns.